Hey guys, it is Sarah with Sarah Lee Crochet and Fabrics, and I am wanting you guys to sew along with me. I will be making some early Christmas presents, and these are adult headbands, and you can change this um, sizing of the headband. We'll be making adults today, but you can change it to kids. Um, this is the fabric I'll be using, one of the fabrics. This is the first one, and then I will also be sewing this one into a headband. See that and then a stretch kente fabric okay so right now the measurements I have of these you will usually take the measurement of the circumference of the person you're making for head and then deduct one inch and um, that's the length of the fabric which is the stretchy part so the whatever the circumference part of it you want that to be the stretchy part measurement because that's what's going around the head so you need to stretch on that part of the fabric because not all fabrics stretch both ways so you just need to make sure before you cut it that the longer part is the stretch part, and that'll be the part that goes around the head and then for the width of it you can pretty much do it whatever width you want the one i'll be working the one i'll be doing today i did it at nine inches so once i go ahead and sew it it will be roughly about a four inch width so here we go so let's start with the first fabric i'll go ahead and do this plaid that i bought on clearance so you would just fold it and then sew along the long side really simple and you want to make sure if you have a serge or great I do not but um, you do have to sew it with a zigzag so that the stretch um, continues if you don't sew it with a zigzag it will be issues especially um, when the person put it on it'll stretch and then sometimes bust the stitch so you typically want to keep this on the zigzag stitch okay so let me get started and you want to do I always do the um, back stitch just to secure it. Okay, let me just adjust because I didn't pin or clip anything. Alright, so we have that in. This is how it looks like. And then you want to go ahead and flip it inside out. Okay. Like that, you can see. Let me push my machine back a little bit to show you. Okay, so this is what it looks like right now. And so that is the seam that we just sewed, right? So you want to make sure that is in the middle as best to your ability as possible right so once you do that then you want to flip it and then put it together okay so what you have is the seam side on this side and that side that's how we folded it and we put it as in the middle as possible right and this is just the edging it's not a big deal for me so it's, you can kind of see the discoloration but that was the edge of the fabric but it's not a big deal so we have the seam right here and we have the seam on the back so what you want to do is scoot over like that okay so with this part you can certainly go ahead and put a clip on it okay so this is what you have and then so you have this half you would go ahead and wrap it around this way and you can take the clip and put it right there and then you have this half and you'll wrap it around this way okay and so you have like a little sandwich right there right so let me clip it Okay, so that's what we have now. And then I'm going to scoot my machine on over. I couldn't find my tripod to do this. So what we're going to do, the way I do it, usually people will just sew it straight across and that's perfectly fine. But I like to go in an oval. So I like to start about a half inch and then go in an oval. 
that's just how I like to do it. I think it looks good that way. So let's go ahead. Okay. So I'm going to switch this back over to the straight stitch because we don't need to have it on the zigzag any longer because we don't need any stretch on this. So with this, I like to go back and forth a few times at all the edges because usually with anything, usually the edging gets the most stress. So I like to go um, back and forth with the machine just to give it extra security, okay? So real slow, go back, go back again. Reversing again a few times at this end. All right. Go ahead and cut that off. And then I'm going to use my shears here. So as you see, I did a little oval. You can do it as deep of an oval as you want. It really doesn't matter. I just like doing it as an oval because it gives a better finished look for me. And then so once you got that done, you will just go ahead and flip your headband over. And then you have a perfectly cute headband. So I am going to do a few more and um off camera and then i will put these on mannequins and show you guys the other ones as well and including this one as well on the mannequin at the end of this video thanks everyone for watching i'm going to try to make this a little series where we can make easy affordable christmas presents because times are hard right now um you can actually make this out of if you have like an old t-shirt um that's a stretch material and you can cut out the at least 20 by nine or ten or if you want this thicker you can make this thicker um and you can have a perfectly good present that you know you didn't have to break the bank for and it's really important right now that we stay on budget and try to manage in this crazy world but yeah i'm going to try to keep this a series of affordable um little christmas present that you can customize and so yeah i will also be selling these in my store so i will place these in there once i take the pictures and of course anything i sell i donate quite a bit to homeless alliances the organization I donate to throughout the year. Um, right now I am in the process of making hats, winter hats and headbands for the organization. So when you do donate, it does help. Or when you purchase an item or donate, it helps goes towards the material. Um, and of course I donate all of my time. So, but thank you guys so much. Everyone have a beautiful day. Bye.